Hey church family, welcome to day 16 of our 40 days of prayer. Today I want you to think about the Grand Canyon. Maybe many of you guys have visited the Grand Canyon, or at least I hope that you've seen a picture of the Grand Canyon. If you haven't, go ahead and jump over to Google. Google Grand Canyon, you'll see all sorts of amazing, beautiful pictures. When we think about the spectacular views of the Grand Canyon, it reminds us not only of God's greatness and His sovereign rule over His creation, but also the deep chasms that can occur in a church family that often precipitate the need for the revitalization our church family now seeks. Bill Hennard, in his book, Can These Bones Live?, says that one of the primary reasons that a church turns inward comes from present or past conflicts within the congregation, and that problems and conflicts occur in all churches of all sizes, and that unforgiveness represents the foremost internal conflict most often ignored in the church. What it wants us to realize here on day 16 is that unforgiving hearts are usually one of the primary causes of spiritual decline, both personally and within the church. That's why there are so many exhortations in the Bible about being forgiving and and having a forgiving heart. Let's look at two quick verses in Scripture. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31 and 32 says this, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, and catch this, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. And the second verse is Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 through 13, where Paul says this, So, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another, and here it is again, forgiving each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. As I go into prayer here on day 16, I challenge you not just to listen to my prayer, but to pray along with me about God giving us a heart of forgiveness. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you that in Christ you have forgiven me all my sins and reckoned me as a righteous through the atonement of Christ. I have gladly received your forgiveness. Make me equally glad to extend the same forgiveness to those who offend, disappoint, or hurt me. Transform my tendency to hold grudges into Christ-like mercy toward others. Dissolve all my inner bitterness and unforgiveness in the shed blood of Jesus and restore me to a clean heart out of which I gladly forgive others. And Father, I most importantly pray right here at Central Baptist Church that we will have a heart of forgiveness so that we can continue to progress towards who you are calling us to be as your church, as your body, and as your people. I pray this in your Son, Jesus Christ, most precious name. Amen. Thank you again for joining us on day 16 of our 40 days of prayer.